once Google has finished archiving all of your content now you'll get an email sent to you directly saying that your archives are available for download so you'll get an email that looks just like this you're gonna go ahead and click where it says see your available archives and then you're gonna have a number of archives depending on how many resources you ask to back up from Google up here is all my Google Drive and my contacts down here is my um, email spam and trash I'm gonna go ahead and just download uh, my Google Drive contents and uh, show you how to then upload that content once we've downloaded it to another Gmail account. So I can go ahead and click on download, log into my Gmail, and it's going to come up and ask me where I want to save this specific archive. And I'll go ahead and save it to my downloads folder, click save. This will take a little bit of time depending on the size of your archive that you have. It might take a few minutes here or a few seconds. And once this is finished, then I'll show you how to then unzip that file and upload it directly into another Gmail account. Now that it's finished downloading, I can go ahead and click on that specific zip file. It's going to go ahead and expand or open up that zip file. So now I'll have access to all of my contacts and all of my drive or documents that I had in my Google account directly on my computer. And once it's finished expanding, then you'll have access directly to that content. Now that it's finished, I can go ahead and click on my finder, go to my downloads or wherever I save that, and you're going to see a folder that's been expanded. This was the original zip file. Now it's been expanded and ready to be opened. And I can double click on that, and you can see all my contacts are in this folder. And I'll see all my drive docs in here too. And they've all been downloaded as Microsoft Office files, so I can open up directly in Microsoft Office on my local computer.